with any luck, we now have a working stream key and we are live. Yes, we are live. Woo. This is me, Heisen underscore rock, and I'm here with Detox. Commentating Hello, everybody. This group L race between Atomic Caleb and Dartiemps. Yeah, it should be a good race. Uh, number one and number two in their group uh, by seeds. Um, Caleb has a let's check. A one twenty eight. Uh, working on it. One twenty eight thirty one. Um, and has been on good. Had some good runs recently. Uh, had a run that was minus fifty yesterday. And Tim's has a one thirty four twenty three, which he got just before the tournament started. Yeah, so uh, in the case of uh, De Tim's, um, could actually be a close race, particularly heading up to Homer 2, but the difference might be at that end because De Tim's does not do out of bounds, but Caleb does. Yeah, so um, Caleb playing on 150, Tim's playing on 100. So I assume Caleb will be able to go slightly better early game. And also a better late game if he uh, does out of bounds. All right, so uh, we should be basically ready to get our race underway. Um, just a reminder, Caleb playing on 150 FPS and Tim's playing on 100. Did you want to do the honours for the countdown in VC? And I'll do it in the chat, Detops. Sounds good. Uh, can I get a signal that both players are ready? Yeah, I'm ready. He is ready. Uh, and Tim's saying in mute chat that he's ready. Okay. So, three, two, one, go. That was only slightly delayed start. <laughs> All right, so Caleb's starting uh, five seconds or so fast off. Shouldn't really be a big issue. Yeah, this opening cutscene that we've all seen hundreds and hundreds of times. Do you know it off by heart, Heiser? Uh, I do, but no one spent the points. So unless someone uh, spends the chat points, then I'm not going to facilitate it. Cola, must get buzz cola. Someone betting that you have a massive chin there. Interesting. I uh, can confirm my chin is quite massive. All right, so cutscenes are done. No one spent the points. Rip. Sorry, you're going to have to wait till sexy footage. All right, so the first three missions, not a lot to talk about. It's mainly just driving. Um, but even so, in those first three missions, the really good players can save... 10 to 15 seconds of, uh, you know, average and, you know, newer players as well. So they're still important. So Caleb with a, I want to say 113 caller caper there? Uh, yeah, 112 maybe. Mm, maybe a fraction slower uh, than might be his preference, but it is a race. Not the end of the world, and God knows they will not be resetting bad caller capers. Yeah, and Tim's getting a 113 by the looks of it, so yeah, still pretty even out of Cold Caper, as you'd expect. Um, so I've also never seen Tim's play live. I so, don't think I have uh, either, one... yeah. So yeah, I'm not really sure um, if they do anything interesting, uh, anything not uh, the same as everyone else, so it'd be, uh, it'd be cool to see. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a learning experience for us both. Uh, we usually say sub 210 SMRT is very good. Looks like a high 208 there for Caleb, so going pretty well. So Tim's looking at a 211, I want to yeah. say. Yeah, 210, 211. I think both players will be pretty happy with that. All right, Petty Theft. So starts to get slightly more difficult here. Still mainly driving. 
just a little bit of car placement because this is a collect mission, collecting a whole bunch of things that Homer has stolen from Flanders. Yeah, I'm not sure why he's stolen half of these objects, but apparently he has. Uh, I'm not sure if Flanders' tuxedo would fit uh, Homer, but apparently he needed it anyway. Um, but yeah, this is probably the most reset mission. Uh, traffic can be really annoying in this, so hopefully for both of these runners, traffic doesn't get in the way. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's going pretty smooth so far. So the only thing you could probably remotely call a strat in this mission is what's about to come up for Caleb, uh, where they might be trying to basically do a J-turn with their car to be um, parking forwards and collect the inhaler from the duck truck. So, yeah, pretty good effort from Caleb there. Yeah, very nice one. Especially one where you can only need to jump once, don't have to do a double jump. He's very happy with. So, and Tim's... Pretty similar, not quite as good, but, you know, we're talking fractions of a second here. We're just looking for anything to talk to <laughs> strat-wise at the moment. Yeah, still, because he jumped on the windscreen, didn't need to do the double jump, so I think both players, again, would be pretty happy with that. And Caleb gets all of the coins and neighbours. And Tim's misses the box, choosing not to reverse for it. Interesting. And does not look happy with himself. Alright, so Caleb getting a 402 petty theft, which is very good. Uh, not quite sub 4, but definitely reckon you'd be happy with that. And he has about a 5 second lead. And Office Space has the first, probably main strap. The Lenny Push. Which, yeah, didn't go very well for Caleb there, unfortunately. No, not at all. Let's see how Tim's goes. Much better one. And Caleb. Oh god, that car has run away from him. He, 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 he was determined. Ah, <laughs> uh, that Ooh. was interesting. That is a hefty time loss for what should just be a very simple pickup of a traffic car. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. She is. Tim, yeah, Tim's takes the lead with that. Um, and yeah, Caleb, again, obviously not happy with that. That's a big F. Yeah, of all of the I things see. that I would expect um, to see, that was not one of them. Alright, so let's see how both of the runners go with Smithers Porsche. They're both using um, a traffic car and the van in this case. There is a strat that um, a lot of high-level runners are taking where they'd actually take the Plow King, which is the intended vehicle to complete this mission. Um, but neither has chosen to do so. Yeah, the team is just going to be about 10 seconds ahead. Yeah. Both getting, both getting the strat. Neither super quick, but again, in a tawny race, you're just happy to get the strat. Um, but yeah, surprise, surprise, uh, the developers actually knew what they were doing when they recommended us using the, uh, the Plow King. Yeah, and the main reason that um, those best runners are going to take the Plow King is just because of the... Um, if you do well, you can get what's called a two-head and basically destroy Mr. Panzer's limo in two hits. Yeah, so it, it is quicker optimally. Um, the reason why a lot of runners don't do it is because A, if you don't get the strat, the backup is much harder and B, it makes uh, the mission after this one, uh, Flowers, quite difficult because you don't get freebies. Right. So Caleb actually making up quite a lot of time in that blind big brother. Uh, so someone spent the points for the cutscene mimic monkey W. Yeah, do you want to take first first shot at it? Uh, so I don't remember it. No. <laughs> uh, something prison. These <laughs> miniature cameras are an outrage. Spying in our women's dressing rooms, bathrooms, and locker rooms is unforgivable. I think I speak for all Spring Builders when I say, where is the sexy footage? In other news, strange black fans have been seen all over the town. Marge, that black camera is spying. Black van is spying on us. 
You do, you do Marge voice. Oh, homie, you're so sexy when you're paranoid. 10 out of 10. Yeah, some of my better work. I can't really do the gravelly uh, Marge voice. I struggle Not to do it too. Sleep. It just ends up as a... I can, I can do it, but it's just a mess. Uh, homie. Yeah, no, that, that All right, anyway. murders the vocal cords. Um, back to the game. Uh, so yeah, this mission is pretty straightforward. Players will be trying to, um, well, it's what am I saying? Trying to keep as close to the black fan as possible. Uh, the further away you get from it, the slower it goes. And the mission only ends when the black fan gets to its destination. So Caleb managed to pick up Trailer Park Wasp uh, with his vehicle there. The Tim's did not. So that's an extra 30 coins uh, there for Caleb. Um, Caleb is not on RTA. He started about five seconds before Tim's. So they should both be a good. So yeah, so because Caleb didn't get the trailer park, he'll be hoping to get uh, both of the stone colors wasp. If he doesn't, he'll have, probably have to get one on foot. Uh, other way around, it was uh, Tim's that didn't get it. Oh, sorry. All good. Other way around. Um, but yeah, then Caleb would could still potentially choose to get one of the wasps on foot. So he gets one with his car, which is very nice. Gets the second on foot. That is pretty much textbook. Jumps over the vehicle. Um, gets just close enough to the black van so that uh, the mission ends as soon as possible. And yeah, Tim's coins are not in a great state at the moment. Yeah, also interesting that Tim's chose to um, keep following the black van instead of going for ESS, which would have been quicker. I would say Tim's um, is still in the lead by about uh, four to five seconds here, but um, this is one of those cases where the difference in driving is becoming clear because they were over 10 seconds ahead after a pretty disastrous um, office based, and this is not going to help their cause. Yeah, this I've, I've never seen Bone Storm Truck get stuck like this, and that's really unfortunate. It does have a habit of getting stuck on the pole in very strange ways, unfortunately. Yeah, gotta gotta try and despawn those poles whenever that happens. But again, easier said than done. Um, Caleb also not really having a great bone storm. Don't think you'd be happy with that. Tim is at least being able to uh, make the shortcut, though he's probably still a bit slower. So, oh, and he's uh, reset the wrong way. That is not good. Nothing lasts forever. Yeah, so bone storm is probably the hardest mission in Homer One, and both players pretty much showcasing why that is the case. Um, it's a very finicky mission, and if one thing goes wrong, it can really escalate quite quickly. And then oh, did Tim select play. to the wrong mission? Which means he loses, uh, not only uh, eats the time loss, he loses the uh, camera panning skip as well. Yeah, so that's really unfortunate. Costs about five seconds. So Caleb um, firmly uh, in the lead, heading out of home line now. Yeah, so both players on track for um, about 1140 home ones. And the Wheel of Fortune has another victim. Yeah, Tim's really not having good luck in this mission. The warp probably causing the wheel to be in a different spot than he's used to. And unfortunately, he's getting hit by it. So that was a 11.42 Homo 1 from Caleb. I gotta get to... no okay, and Tim's, let's say... Strange slide, 11.55 I think. I think so, yeah. 11.53, yeah, so... There was a one second difference out of Bone Storm, which turned into a 13 second difference. So yeah, not something you usually see in Fast and Furious. Or Fast and Furious. No, absolutely not. Um, Caleb got the fast escape. He got the sports car as well. So, um, to 
just making that time up again. Yeah, both players getting the sports car. Though Tim's looks like he's in a lot of trouble. Skinner is really close. Uh, Tim's just managing to get this guy. Yeah, and gets it. So yeah, so uh, the next mission, uh, weapons or some members of the community call it fireworks. I've never heard it called fireworks. Yeah, I think it's just one specific member. Dead. Um, yeah, it's a lot of getting in and out of the car. Um, that's why both players will choose the traffic car. Not only is it quicker than the honor roller, but you don't get the animation going in and out, which is slightly quicker. Now, and as both players have... Oh, sorry, you go. Uh, I was just going to say, Caleb had the benefit of using the same sports car that he uh, started 2-1 um, with. I'm not sure about the Tim's. Um, he obviously managed to get that traffic car. Uh, no, I think Tim's got that at the beginning of 2-1. As well. Ah, um, but yeah, so the sports car is the most ideal car and the quickest way to do the mission. So both players will be very happy that they were able to get one. Okay. Caleb, so, uh, you can see pushing the traffic car into the vent there, which is um, always a good way to get some coins with pretty minimal time loss. Yeah, so without that car, the vent is slightly slow, but with the car, it becomes uh, very viable. And then the only real stride of the mission is escaping Wiggum, which Caleb showcases off very well there. And let's see if Tim's has any trouble. Their position of their car wasn't quite right, and okay, no, they still get the escape though. Yeah, no, both getting good escapes. It's um, the escape's not super tight. It's a little lenient. Um, as long as you go the right way, you should be okay. Um, and Caleb doing Vox doesn't look to have had any problem. And is able to get another sports car. So Caleb having perfect RNG. Uh, it's a particularly uh, notorious um, moment of RNG there in Bart 1 because picking up a good traffic car, let alone a sports car, at the end of that mission, um, yeah, quite difficult. Yeah, and it makes uh, the strat that oh. I assume Caleb would be going for much uh, easier. Tim's managed to get the sports car as well, so both had basically the best luck they could. Yeah, so Bach being the most car heavy RNG level, both getting pretty much perfect RNG. <laughs> As Kayla's black fan goes a little wonky. Um, and Tim's getting caught on the stairs. Still able to get the freebie in the box, but might lose a little bit of time. Uh, too far behind to even uh, consider to jump. So yeah, so Caleb successfully getting dirt jump will increase that lead by probably another five seconds. Uh, getting that wasp happened. on foot for uh, Tim's. Um, yeah, he's needing to do everything he can to just make sure his coins are um, as good as they can be. Yeah, so the because he gets that wasp there. Uh, the assumption would be that they'll go for Gazebo in the next mission. Um, which would hopefully be able to fix the coin route. So, yeah, so Caleb now moving on to the Snake Race, which is uh, one of the easier parts of the mission. Oh no, Tim. <laughs> snake Ranking running over Wiggum. It's going to lose a little bit of time as well. I'm going to assume the shaking of the camera there was a sign of uh, moderate to intense frustration. Yeah, I'd, I'd say so for sure. Oh, um, he picks up the wasp heading past um, Progressive Bird. Does Caleb? 
Yeah, so 560 coins after Baden Frank is pretty good. Um, I would assume that Caleb might also go for Gazebo then, because uh, you probably want a little bit more if you're not getting Gazebo. Um, yeah, and Caleb starting better than Beef, which is the first time we use the Cletus truck. The most underrated and underappreciated vehicle in the community. Really? Definitely. It's really not that bad. I can hear there's someone in your um, background of your place that's just in pain. What's being said there? <laughs> oh no. Team's getting turned the wrong way around. Should be okay. I mean, sorry, Caleb. Uh, yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> Are we watching the same stream here, Detox? <laughs> <laughs> There's a, a text message RNG for Detox. Sorry. Don't usually get text messages. One in a million occurrence. So, oh, that missed, sucks too. The Timbers has missed the wasp and they get turned around the wrong way. Oof. Yeah, not a good trailer park segment. And again, moving the camera up and down. Not happy. Um, okay, Caleb corner. attempting the escape here. They are going to get it. And gets gazebo coins pretty smooth. Uh, Caleb now has 665 coins after better than beef, which is a good amount. Alright, so Tim's moving on to the final couple of drops. Still have plenty of time, no worries there. And going through the car wash way. So I don't really think Caleb's put um, a foot wrong in this Bart one. There's just been a few minor um, time losses, but nothing in the way of like misdrafts or anything. Yeah, honestly, Caleb's run has been pretty clean apart from office space. Um, so Tim's not electing to go for Gazi, and their coins are really low now, a hundred less than Caleb's are. Yeah, this is a. Not a great place for them to be in. Um, so the positive is that they're now going into monkeys, which you can fix your coin round in monkeys. You can get a lot of extra coins that are not too slow. So we'll see if, if that's the option they choose to take. Um, yeah, Caleb not having too many problems so far. Uh, he's missed the wasp on the court, um, the courtyard, court steps. What do we call this? Our famous blank? Courthouse, yes. Uh, yeah, it has to reverse for that uh, construction monkey, but nothing too major wrong there. Um, yeah, so Tim's electing to get an extra uh, vending machine. So we'll see if he gets any other monkeys on foot that he might not have to. And Caleb getting the Town Hall freebie. So his coins are absolutely golden at the moment. Anything over 700 after monkeys you're very happy with. And here he is with, yes, um, 720 coins. More if he uh, gets the loss, which he does. Yeah, and Tim's electing to go for Gazebo there. So yeah, it looks like Tim's is definitely using this mission to fix their coin round. And there probably is no better opportunity in the entire run. I think it's said there's an opportunity for up to four wasps and a very large number of boxes uh, in this mission. Yeah, absolutely. So after... 
yeah, after this he'll have close to 670 with, with the wasp on the roof. So yeah, coin should be fine. Um, and Caleb moving on to sellouts, which is the most difficult early game mission. Um, yeah, can definitely go wrong. Without a shadow of a doubt, um, but first and second cars, that second car in particular, was excellent. That that's got to be one of the quickest cars, second cars I've ever seen. That, even, that, even this third yeah. car, assuming um, it doesn't get too far beyond, no, that's very good as well. Yeah, Caleb on track for a really good start here. Losing a little bit more time with the fourth car, but hopefully it won't matter too much because that car is still heading uh, on the way where he wants to go. 640 sellouts. Yeah, that's a very good sellout from Caleb. It's going to be really difficult for Tim to try and match that. And we'll, we'll see how he goes. All right, let's see skip. This is a big moment. And a storage skip as well. That is n not ideal. Oh, he's missed it. Oh, the pause on pause. So yeah, that's very unfortunate. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, really unfortunate, especially considering how well that sellouts went. So yeah, this will give Tim's a lot of time to catch up. Tim's also having a very good second. I think that um, so Tim's is definitely back in it if they manage to get the cutscene skip. But Caleb still seem to have around a minute up their sleeve. Yeah. So at the start, uh, players were missing all three of the cutscene skips now suddenly uh seems like all the players are now going back to missing part one which was a feature of last year's tournament as well i think there's a consensus that um it is easily the hardest cutscene skip part one yeah uh yeah with about 50 percent of all missed um being that yeah so i believe that it is does have the smallest time frame but yeah i personally don't have any more trouble with part one than the other cutscenes, so it's interesting that it affects the community so much. Mm. Big brain detox. <laughs> right, let's see how Tim's goes. So he does get it, which means that he stays in it, but yeah, um, even with a missed cutscene skip, Caleb is at least 25 to 30 seconds ahead. Yeah, so Caleb was a minute 25 ahead out of part one with a 55-ish second cutscene so it should be roughly 30 seconds no, i don't um, think the enter uh, the enter storage skip yeah it does make it a bit harder um you'll often see a lot of runners will be going for a one pause if they use it the reason being that um you just it's very tight in terms of running to that phone booth and then once you've selected the car, exited the phone booth for the time for the cutscene to start, it's actually not a huge amount of time. Okay, so Caleb finishes off Nerda Race Queen. Um, Tim's getting a nice turn there. And Caleb choosing uh, to run to Millhouse, which is a slightly newer route, which uh, is a bit quicker because it gets you a free ASS, but you lose out on 15 coins. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if Caleb goes for boat jump, crusty loose skip. I believe that's the route he uses now, so let's we'll see. Tim's uh, using the traditional method of finishing up free one. Yeah, so and able to get that crossy bird event as well. So yeah, it looks like Tim's has kind of fixed their coin route as well. 
Yeah, I, I think it's difficult to completely blot your coin route before a poo. Yeah, that's a lot of chances to make it up. And Caleb does get boat jump. Well played. Uh, a significant benefit to um, time save because it means they can skip the Krusty Loo coins and make their way straight to Millhouse where hopefully he's going to get kicked into a river. Alright. So, let's see what happens. Yeah. Like most of the community, Millhouse abuse. Poor Millhouse. It's a very important part of what we do here. Alright, so Tim's getting beach coins. And Caleb has missed um, bonfire strats because of a ute getting in his way. Yeah, that's really unfortunate, Trousy. Um, yeah, bonfire's generally the not still too there. bad. Wow. Okay then. Yeah, but Caleb able to Maneuver Cletus around the U. But yeah, that's a really unfortunate time loss. One he'll definitely will not be happy with. Uh, the Tim's going for the Krusty Loo coins. Uh, 1050 coins at this, but yeah, uh, they've got no issues at all uh, on their coin right now. Yeah, I'm Caleb finishing off. On fire as Tim finishes off clueless. Stream frames dying, small gas. And by the looks of it, Tim's has also killed Millhouse by throwing him into the ravine. So yeah, so I'm sure Heisen will be able to fix this momentarily. Yeah, I'm going to just investigate what's going on. Uh, so I'm just going to uh, mute and be back. I could sure use a pony right now. Right. Keep an eye so Tim's also not getting good traffic. But looks like he's able to manoeuvre fine. And gets the bonfire strap. Uh, Caleb getting fish found. And runs over Otto. Missed the box though. Um, so yeah, interesting, doesn't look like he's going to go back for the box. I think his coins are fine anyway. We are uh, back, and my understanding, definitely based on the drop frames, is that there should be nothing. Yay. So yeah, Tim's unfortunately had a drop despawn, so had to go back to get it. And again, showing his displeasure, as is Caleb, from not getting the traditional strat. Missing the first car here is no problem because if you, it's, it's basically impossible to miss it any later than the second damn wall. Yeah. And if Finish you do, it off one. Then you need to be reconsidering your life. <laughs> Cop that. <laughs> Alright, so Tim's looks like they're going to get a U. Uh, oh no, choosing to use the fish fan over the U. So we got double fish fan. See if I can type it correctly this time. Second car hasn't quite worked perfectly for Caleb. Um, usually you'll expect the car to kind of spin around to your left there, um, but if it doesn't, then um, it can make it difficult to destroy it in two hits. Not too much of a time loss though. Yeah, Caleb gets a good backup. Ooh, school bus flips over a little, but corrects itself. All right, so now I'm moving on to the third car. Now, third car looks good. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Fantastic third car. And okay, we'll get out of the car to get an ESS, and we'll save a little bit of time in sleuthing. Alright, and Tim's gets a nice backup. Um, so sleuthing is a sneaky, difficult mission. Um, it's actually been found quite a few times already in the tourney. Because Snake can sometimes give really bad drops that's hard to deal with. Um, so hopefully Caleb and Tim's get good luck from Snake. Yeah, 
you know, Cal getting a really early second drop, but able to deal with it. Uh, Caleb does get the strats for making sure that Fed is not going to drop late, or else not going to drop over the bridge, I should say. Yeah, Caleb getting a very good manip there. Uh, Tim's having a fantastic second car. Moving on to the third car. Gets a very nice third car as well. Uh, but we'll choose not to do the ASS. So both players momentarily on the same mission. So Caleb at the end and Tim's at the start. That fish fan almost blocking the first drop. It did. This is a mission that can go so wrong so fast. Uh, Slovenia, well, just when you least expect it. Yeah, so Tim's only able to get four coins out of the vent because it must have been the bench that hit the vent instead of his car. He'll go for the manip here and he's missed it. So it's all down to RNG and it's a good drop. Yeah, got very lucky that Tim. Could have lost, um, you know, 15 seconds if Snake drops on the wrong side of the dam. Um, so Caleb okay, getting really close to hit and run and fish deals. Um, not, not something you see often, but it can happen. I don't think I've ever seen it, to be honest. Yeah, I've seen it a couple times. It is rare, but um, especially at the start, if you hit a few pedestrians, um, it can be a bit of an issue. Uh, so Tim's is using a storage kit. You just saw him um, use it there uh, when they started Fisher Deals. Yeah, so Fisher Deals and uh, 3.7 are two of the easiest uh, ESSs to use. You uh, end the mission right by and there's really no reason not to use it. Yeah, you can see um, Caleb yeah. using it in the uh, 37 just now. Um, so Caleb on track for a high 35 if he gets fast enough. It's going to be it's going to be fast. It's not fast fast, but it's fast. Yeah, definitely take that fast enough. Hardest platforming in the game, jumping up using the pole. Can he do it? Yeah, so, Caleb looking to go through the fast pole. Yeah, makes it look easy. Yeah, very well done. Gets the wasp. So, yeah, his coins are a little low. 580 is not great. Uh, you were right, though, <laughs> Detox, in that it was a high 35. Um, I didn't know it could be done, um, but he did it. Yeah, so a good fast limo is probably just under a minute to just over a minute, depending on the skill level, I guess. Um, Caleb okay, going for ESS, but not going for neighbors. Uh, and Tim's now also moving on to the limo. I think Caleb wanted the wasp. Oh, he's gonna get it. Did he pick up the coins though? No, I don't think he did. Which is uh, a Tim's issue not... because uh, but he's gonna have to eat those coins. They will um, despawn. Yeah, so Tim's not getting fast on but gets a lot of damage. And to add um... insult for injury, Caleb has missed everything in donuts. Oh dear, this is not good. Oh. Can you get the yeah, back up and, leave, and keep it close to Lard Lads? Um, yeah, it looks like a little dodgy back up, but it should work. Mm, he's lost it again. He's just got to keep the time loss to a minimum and keep it close. Sports car having none of it. Or 
Let's go, let's go. No, that's a hatchback. That's a budget full of focus. Oh, was like there's no sports cars in this level. Uh, yeah, I don't think there are. Oh, Caleb misses the drop on the way back. So yeah, that's really unfortunate. Uh, don't know if I was so close. That traffic was okay. dreadful, yes. So yeah, a close to two minute split is going to give Tim's an opportunity to catch up. Um, and also just for reference, uh, Caleb has about a minute and a half lead to do Tim's doing some March parkour. I'm not sure I've ever seen that. Uh, can he get Donut Fire? It's possible. Oh, I think he's going to get it. Yeah, so Tim's uh, looked like he went for probably the safer option where you uh, just go horizontal for the first hit and then try and guide the Donut Truck when it's a bit slower on the second or third hit. Um, hopefully that first donut will despawn, but it doesn't look like it will. So it's going to lose Tim's a little bit of time. But yeah, still a much better donut truck than Caleb, unfortunately. Oh, fortunately for Tim's, I guess. So yeah, Caleb, well and truly. Yeah, Caleb, well and truly into. I hear echo. I hear echo. Yeah, uh, so Redneck Roundup is also, for the most part, a pretty easy mission. Um, looks like because of traffic, Caleb decided to take the shortcut there. Um, so yeah, it's, this is a little bit just about trying to stay close to clear to make him go fast. And also trying to make sure he doesn't run into anything. Not the smartest driver. Yeah, Caleb getting some wonky canyon error physics there. Uh, his hit and run meter is really high. We could be seeing our first Wii World. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think he is fine. Um, so yeah, Cleet is getting stuck there at the power plant, which is quite normal. Alright, uh, just uh, fixing up some issues with the Echo there, I think it's all good now. Okay. And... Yeah, so Caleb now moving on to Catch Up Logic, which is the second and final time you use the click now. Um, this mission is a little bit harder because the Clear's truck doesn't like uh, a lot of the bumps in the level. And yeah, if you hit a bump, then it's a multi-second time loss because this thing takes about 28 years to accelerate up to its top speed. Yeah. Which really uh, makes you wonder why anyone would think this is a good vehicle. It's not a quick vehicle, but it's a good vehicle. It's easy to control. It does what, you, it, does what it needs to. Mm, yeah. uh, me and you are very different people sometimes. <laughs> Alright, so... Tim's having no trouble with Redneck Rounder, good by margin mate. And main menu ops, and we'll also be moving on to catch up. So how will the Wheel of Fortune treat Caleb? Let's find out. Made it look easy. Yeah, got a very good cycle. No problems there. Now it just has a very easy escape, and we'll be moving on. And Tim gets a good fire truck jump. It can be a little bit scary if you go head first into the pole, but most experienced runners know what they're doing. As 
as uh, Caleb stream just buffered there for a moment, but I'm pretty sure that it's yeah, it's going fine now. All right, so Caleb moving on to a very short mission. Uh, not really sure why it's in the game. It's kind of it's kind of pointless forty second drive, but I think it's pretty easy to assume why it's in the game because they ran out of ideas. <laughs> Um, but isn't that just the um, development of Shaw in a nutshell? Yeah, pretty much. Especially level 7. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I heard a theory that it was supposed to be part of Wolves. Um, but they were one mission short, so they just made it a separate mission. That actually would make a lot of sense. Well, it would make Wolves an even longer mission than it already is. Yeah. And on, no. Tim's not able to get the last catch up Patrick, getting Gamden for the second time. Uh, he certainly yeah. doesn't want to get Gamden again. No, it's fine. Yeah, it's some really bad luck. Alright, so Caleb now moving on to Wolves, which, again, like a lot of missions for the most part is quite easy, but can go really wrong. Oh yeah, I'm just being reminded that 1,000 channel points were spent on crap circles, so GG me. So, I believe in you, Heisen. Don't we all? Um, so yeah, so the two uh, biggest fears here are a fail glitch, in which you are too far away from a drop when it spawns, which causes you to fail the mission, and two cycle, in which uh, the sedan isn't able to drop the eighth time, the eighth drop in time, and it causes it to do a second lap, which loses about a minute and a half. And the main way to um, avoid that two cycle that we know of is to just make sure that you're staying, staying a decent distance behind um, the sedan when the 8th drop happens, as you can see Caleb is doing right now, that increases the chance of the ninth drop not falling too late. Is that correct, Desmond? Yeah, so basically by staying behind, it gives the sedan less chance for the 8th drop to be in the zone where the ninth drop will be. Yeah. Um, and as you can see, it works for Caleb there. Getting uh, pretty good wolves. Uh, just has the final escape to go. And Jim's now also starting wolves. Caleb, very close to the cutscene now. Yeah, Tim's getting an unfortunate one pixel um, in the playground. He misses the wasp on the uh, school stairs as well. Yeah, both players missing that wasp, unfortunately. And Caleb is now pretty much in crab circles. Maybe these will jog your memory. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> For the last freaking time, tell me about the crab circles! There I was standing with Dodger and his magic mm. henchmen, when suddenly, a raccoon, as I recall, hits me with a banjo. No, I've never reasoned with a raccoon, let alone a Nazi one. Grandpa, what does this have to do with the crab circles? Not a thing. So there I was. Crab circles! Okay, okay. <laughs> it was so long ago that I'll have to recall it with sepia tone. Well, it was a cosmic kind of thing, shaped like an old radio antenna with a planet on it, I think. Yeah. A planet with an antenna? Mm, that sounds familiar. I think it was at the Quickie Mart. That's it! It was at a bird in a pop! Maybe that would Jack Bart's memory. <laughs> Fantastic work by uh, my co-commentator here. Honestly, could not tell the difference. I know, it's pretty accurate, right? It's just, yeah, any, anyone can accurate. voice Marge, she's just got such a easy to replicate voice. Um, so Tim's 
Also, uh, avoiding two cycle and fail glitch. We'll take the slightly safer option when resetting. I think uh, we missed the observation from Caleb that they're only slightly tilted. Yeah, um, but unlike most speedrunners acknowledging that most of it was their own fault. Uh, I've honestly never made a mistake in the game, it's always been the game. <laughs> Alright, so Caleb now starting 4-6, um, which is a very easy level. Can't really lose a lot of time on it. Just for the benefit of those that want to hear the cutscene without it being destroyed by me, I huh? will play it again as that him. For the uh, last freaking it. time, tell me about the crap circles. Crap circles. Yeah, I was surrounded by Tojo and his I Nazi henchmen. So when one of them, a raccoon as I recall, sure. it's me with a banjo. No, I never reasoned with a raccoon, let alone a Nazi one, so I... Grandpa, what does this have to do with the crap circle? Not a thing. Where was I? Right, now, the first crap time I rode circle. in a water car... Okay, okay. Yeah, it, um, it was so long ago well. that I'll have uh, to describe it in sepia tone. Very similar to well, I mean, as yeah, I recall, it, it was sort of a cosmic kind of thing. Shaped kind of uh, like a planet with an old-fashioned radio antenna coming off it. A planet with an antenna? Hmm, that sounds awfully familiar. Yeah, so... I think uh, I was at the quicking mark. That's it. A little bit, um... A little bit easier than two suits because most of it's on foot, um, so freebies aren't really a problem. And also, um, you can lose a bit more time. The you can lose time in the dirt jump. You can lose time for non-optimal driving, which is obviously not prevalent in a mission on foot. And with that, Caleb now moving on to coal trucks. Definitely one of the hardest missions in the game. Yeah, are mm. these uh, first and third trucks in particular? Um, Caleb misses the main strap, but he seems to get a pretty good backup on the hedge there. Yeah, very good hedge backup. And thought it's the final blow. As Tim moved, Tim's move on, moves on to four six. We'll also. Get both boxes and both wasps here. Oh, interesting. I'm using a circular motion to drop the points, which I've never seen anyone do before. Yeah, that's uh, not something I've seen before either, I must say. Um, Caleb does get roof box. It looked a little dicey there for a moment, but had no troubles with it. Can he. Uh, Caleb going onto the second truck, he's. Really much got the main strat. Um, although taking a little bit longer than he might like it to. Yeah, wasn't able to get it on the uh, very corner of the wall, which lost a little bit of time, but still a pretty good second truck. He's elected to get the um, second chessboard wasp on foot here. Yeah, uh, dubbed the wasp of shame in the community. Uh, yeah, I just realized Caleb's coins are really low. And the canyon, um, canyon arrow physics um, making itself well and truly known for Caleb. <laughs> so a third gamut and Caleb's first mixed with canyon arrow physics. Not a good combination. How is this third truck going to go for Caleb? Mm, not as much damage as they might like. Uh, on that first hit against the tree, so it's going to be a little bit of time lost, but at least it hasn't gotten out. Yeah. Again, not a perfect strat, similar to the second truck, but in a tawny race, you definitely take that. Um, uh, Tim's Tim... has, yeah, he's missed everything on this uh, first truck. Yeah. But a good so backup pulse... on the hedge. Yeah, pulse strat's really difficult, so a lot of players just go for it, hope for the best. And then, similar to what Tim's did there, attempt hedge, which is a little bit easier. Uh, Tim's coins are also not great. Yeah, Caleb has just over 700 leaving marge, which is uh, about uh, 40 under where you'd want. You want 750. 
shirt in the station locker room. Yep. Yeah, so this is the second time that we've noted that um, Tim's coins have been on the low side. The first was in part one, but they managed to bring them back uh, through Lisa. This is where you don't want those coins to be low because um, it has much greater impact in the second half of the game. Yeah, so Tim's, I believe, missed both the trailer wasp and the chessboard freebie, which probably is why their coins are low. It'll be interesting to see if they also go for the right side chessboard wasp. And they do, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's been a long time since I've seen a race with two losses of shame. Uh, but yeah, both players opting there needed it. Um, it'll be interesting to see if Caleb also goes for early American, considering how low their coins were. Um, but deciding not to do it. This, oh, it's got now. Oh no. Yeah, really unfortunate. Uh, that bounce uh, allowing the third color truck to get out. And also the truck getting stuck. Tim's still needing two more hits. Needs one more hit now. Can he get it before it heads over the tie fire? Oh lord. That's a bit of a mess towards the end. Yeah, has unfortunately not gone very well. It looks so promising as well, just the truck unfortunately bouncing out. Uh, um, so yeah. On the other hand, has started incriminating caffeine. A can be a very frustrating mission um, because there's a few spots where if you hit a traffic car and uh, you're in the wrong position, it gets out of range and you fail. Yeah, so because we choose to pick up a lot of coins in this mission, um, we can, it does make the mission a bit riskier. Um, and also, Caleb has really no choice. He needs to pick all the coins he can, so he might risk failing to get those coins. Be an interesting trade off. Mm, possibly. <laughs> it would have really hurt with the time loss. Yeah, as in, if it's an. Definite fail, I don't think you do it, but yeah. other one. If there's going to be a fail, this is usually the scariest time, sort of this little chicane section. I think he's going to be okay, Caleb. Yeah, some really good driving there. Um, and it looks like the car truck had no, didn't get too far away. Caleb had a lot of uh, practice in this mission yesterday, completing it in the monster truck. So, yep, definitely knew what he was doing. It's almost the equivalent of uh, high altitude training for AFL players. <laughs> Alright. And, oh my god, Caleb just bought the wrong outfit. Oh my... Oh my god. I think that's the first one in the tournament. I think it might be. Oh no, they. Their, their yeah. entire run thrown into disarray now, Caleb. This is big. Yeah, Caleb's coins are completely screwed now. This gives Tim's a big chance to catch up. Oh, absolutely. Um, I don't know if Caleb um, has any 100% experience. I think they do. I think they've run Hundo. Yeah, Caleb has run Hundo. So. It's got to count for something in maybe knowing where some of these alternate coin patches are, but in any case, the time loss is going to be horrible. Yeah, this is, it's really bad because you want to also make sure you're not getting coins that you're going to get later in the run anyway. No, that's exactly um, right. Which, yeah, which are most of the fast ones. So Caleb, yeah, we'll definitely be getting some, some of the really slow coins here. And also um, the wasp shooting. I'm going to assume he's going to head to Wiggum here. And maybe Flanders as well if he didn't get that yeah. in 4-6. Really yeah, I think that was a, a good decision. Cool. Uh, might even Great. choose... To, yeah, might choose to do it in Homer 1 as well. So, like, we can't um, hear what's going on with Caleb at the moment, but... 
I'm surprised that we haven't seen about 100 shakes of the camera because, yeah. Yeah, so Tim's now uh, nearing the end of 5 1. Uh, gets a pretty good drop there. Should be able to get that vent. How are their coins? Yeah, Tim's has definitely brought his coins back. He should be absolutely fine. Um, do they have enough? Goodness me! I think we're going for Flanders coins in Homer 1, my god! <laughs> Not something I ever thought I'd see. Uh, not from a sub-130 runner, anyway. No, this is, uh... <laughs> I, I cannot believe what's going on here. The smell of fresh air is much more pleasing than the... So, I don't know if there's even enough points. Yeah, there's probably about nine. I, I think it'll be okay. Caleb will probably get, um, the box and wasp at Town Hall in 5-2. Yeah, they'll stop here. Um, and that... And baby makes a a much diminished run. Yeah, so Tim's now definitely in the lead. Um, gets a good uh, first one. And then gets Longhorn, but it's dead. If I were a betting man, I'd say that Tim should still be able to bring this back, but... Mr. Homer's that's sort of like in an ordinary situation, not one where you'd be so tilted about what had just happened. So, yeah, so... I, I think it comes down to said, Caleb just, uh, yeah, controlling the emotions. Hopefully my store will not be robbed more than four times while I am driving yeah, around so, today. Um, Caleb made some pretty smart decisions, I think, by going back to Homer 1 and Marge. So it's, I think he's kept his head pretty level. And hopefully he's able to take that out of his mind and just continue his run. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so both runners now on Baby Van. Uh, Tim's one looks like it hasn't gone very well so far. Wasn't able to get a strap. Uh, the baby van doing all sorts of gymnastics and loop de loops <laughs> and jumping around. Yeah, don't notice in the baby van have to reset because it's on its side, which was a shame because Caleb almost got that strap. Um, so yeah, so Tim's finishing off baby van. Caleb getting towards the end of it. There's, yeah, not, not I've got anything close to a strat. And Caleb has down about 500 poles uh, in the one place there. <laughs> yeah, getting in his way. Smart reset though. Not able to get that wasp, which would be annoying. Okay, so both players now on this little piggy. Um, Tim's not happy with the track he just got. And yeah, so the first part of the mission is pretty easy. Donut trucks. The timer can be a little scary. Uh, but two experienced runners should have no problems with it. Uh, Tim's got the wasp there uh, on the police station steps, which is always very nice. Yeah. Tim's feeling confident enough to get the gag. As well. <laughs> it's always an interesting flex. Yeah. Um, but not getting the coin from the gag, so was it even worth it? Mm. Tree falling in the woods and all that. Um, we don't believe Tim's does out of bounds. They didn't in their PB. So. I would be surprised. Um, and it really depends on do they even know how to do it, and then if they do. And do they think it's worth it to um, try and get a win? Yeah, so Caleb now looking to get the police station whilst on foot. 
does a pretty good job of it. Uh, but yeah, Caleb's uh, Wii Wii meter is a little worrying. Yep, and uh, uh, no scarier place to get run in the entire game than this. Yeah, but I think Caleb's got past the point of no return. And looks like they're fine. Tim's moving on to 5-5. Five five. Is it still an echo? Okay, so both players now on Never Trust a Snake. And yeah, a pretty long mission, so not a lot to it. A lot of driving, really. Uh, though you can make up time with good driving and good coin collection. So hopefully for Caleb's sake, I guess he's able to make up some time. Okay, so uh, both players looking backwards whilst driving because it should make the garbage truck drive better. Um, though Caleb misses the drop by doing so. Um, Tim's getting a 310 last drop, which is not great. You would uh, prefer to drop from the 315 to 320 range. And Caleb's garbage truck is just completely misbehaved. Really unfortunate. And getting a really late drop as well, 310. So both players are probably not happy with that. Uh, yeah, very um, close at the moment still. I think Tim's probably still has a 15-20 second advantage in hand, but it's not much. And particularly when you consider what is likely to come uh, with the... What do we call I call it the Unholy Trinity. What do some other people call it? Uh, some call it the Three Gatekeepers or the Muta Triangle. Three Gatekeepers is boring. The Muta Triangle is trying too hard. I'm Sorry, holy, Kelvin. I'm holy Trinity, though. Your nickname is bad, Kelvin. It's been decided. Alright, so. Tim's now moving on to the four garbage bin wasp. Gets that. Uh, 380 coins here is probably a little low. Um, but it can definitely. Uh, definitely be restored. So, Caleb. <laughs> Caleb's coins are even lower. I guess has to be expected by an army. I think Caleb should be fine. Bermuda. Yeah. Bermuda. I know Americans would say Bermuda. Bermuda. Because Americans are weird. They yeah, pronounce words funny. Anyway, so Tim's finishing off the mission does the cool reset. He has plenty of time to go. Gets a really nice snake push there. And we'll finish the mission at 106.25. So let's see how big their lead is over Caleb. It's ever so slightly janky. Um, switch to 4-1, um, which is by right should be faster than um, uh, main menu walk. Main menu. Alright, and Caleb getting a 107.05, so there is second. Uh, and now a little bit more. 
because Kyle walked unfortunately to the wrong move. Oh dear, yeah, not good. Yeah, Kyle having an approach to forget. Has Dartim's got armor truck? Yes, I think he's got it. Yeah, the ambulance looked like it might have screwed things over, but no problems in the end. Gets the first freebie um, at the rotate room. Doesn't get the second. He'll just have to get it on foot. That's okay. Yeah, the wasp behaving pretty well, so. Uh, armor truck is stuck. Uh, yeah, I've never, I can't remember ever seeing the armor truck get stuck like that. Not in this kind of position. It's unusual. It should be okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't pretend to be an expert on this, but, um... Yeah, so I unfortunately missed Caleb's armor truck, but it looks like it's damaging itself. Caleb must have got the strap. Doesn't even bother checking, just goes full walls. Yeah, well, he had lost enough time um, beforehand, so... Might as well just yellow it. Please don't go too far, Tims. You're scaring me there. <laughs> And both players getting Ganesh, nice. So yeah, they're very close now. Um, no more than yeah. 15 seconds separating them. Yeah, Caleb's having a lot of time there because the uh, armor truck got stuck. And then getting the box as well. So both players have pretty much the same coins. Both just uh, under 450 or just over 4. Horn. Is that an air horn detox? Uh, it's a vacuum, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm just, imagining, another. just imagining your parents playing an air horn. Alright, so. We got our first Wii Woo of the run as well. Alright, so Tim's and Caleb are now both onto Curator. Um, so Curator might be the hardest part of the Bermuda Triangle. Yeah, I guess each player has, each person has their own hardest part. Yeah, no, I, th I think it probably would be the hardest part. Um, is it the most dangerous part? Possibly not, because right after this they've got a food cut scene skip and they've got a 2 minute 20 second loss if they don't get it. Yeah, so Tim's a bit unlucky there. I thought that should have worked, but gets a pretty good backup. Uh, Caleb has missed everything. Oh dear. Oh my goodness. Yep, that's a mission. He elects to restart the mission. Uh, yeah, that's really interesting. Tim's um, got the cutscene maybe skip. What... Yeah, big pog for Tim's. Um, yeah, interesting choice by Caleb. Um, I think he was worried the curator might be getting on the... And he wouldn't be able to get any damage before then. Or not enough. Um, I feel like I know we've still got out of bounds to come, but this is probably the first time in the race that you might say Tim's is in the box seat. Oh, and then Caleb getting horrible traffic. Oh my god. He not even able to get it. Gets the backup. It's enough, or is it? Oh, it's gotten out again. Oh my yeah. goodness. This is a disastrous to put Caleb. Now the cutscene skip. He needs the cutscene skip. He's got it. Yeah, so... Yeah, we missed cutscene skip would have been really bad then. But still able to fix it. Um, so Tim's with the lighthouse boss. Very nice. Yeah, and then with the squid pop box, should have over 600, so full credit the coins to, are fine. Um, full credit to Tim's, who's they've kept their coins under control. It's never looked like um, getting beyond them. Yeah, so Tim's also a minute and six seconds ahead out of the Um Though, I think if you told Caleb that he was a minute behind going into part two, he'd still think he could win this race. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, out of Bounds probably is going to be what this comes down to, barring any other major blow-ups from either runner. 
Yeah, Caleb getting caught for good luck. Simpson at your service. Um, I haven't seen Caleb's coins, but I think they'll find. Yeah, absolutely fine. Okay, Tim's going for Studio Studio A box, which is pretty free, but can be a little monk ass. Loving this airborne sound, Steve. <laughs> Hopefully, it shouldn't take much longer. <laughs> yeah, so Caleb also avoiding Wee which is important. School bus is not the best for getting away from the cops. Tim's not getting kissed with death, which is nice. Um, Caleb playing on 150 shouldn't be getting kissed with death. Okay, so Caleb also getting Studio A box. And again, looks like has no troubles. Tim's finishing off the race. The race. It looks a bit scary at the start, but with all the shortcuts you take, it's pretty easy. And he's able to get bought. So both players getting bought and getting good luck. Um, Caleb's itching scratchy van getting stuck somewhere? Not sure what happened there. Um, so Tim's now on to 6-3, which has been by far the most failed mission in the tournament. Failed, I believe, 10 times. So both players will be hoping for a bit of better luck here. Uh, Frink going a little Popega, but fixes, and fixes himself up. Caleb will also finish off the race. Not having any troubles there. So yeah, so now both players onto the Monka S mission of the tournament. Um, yeah, if you want to go get tea or coffee or some food, now's the time to do it. Two, three minutes, nothing will happen. Um, Tim's is Globex is a little bit. Uh, damaged, but should be able to fix it here with a wrench. Um, and Caleb will have to get ESS there. Not sure when he's going to use that. Probably at the start of 6.5, I guess. And Tim's now in the home stretch of 6.3. Only one more vent to get. It's the scary bombers vent. Let's see if they would do it. Traffic tried to get in the way. Tim's navigates it well and should have no more trouble. Uh, oh, Caleb's shrink goes flying past. His wee woo is also a little higher. Yeah, his wee wee is very high. Wee wee's at the ready, boys. Yeah, also not a great mission to get wee wee, considering uh, you're following Frank. Yeah, Frank also. You wee wee's not big with those for sure. Yeah, Frank getting stuck on traffic, not helpful. All right, so Tim's moving on to Duff for me, Duff for you. Which has, I would suggest, the hardest straight in Bart 2 in the fast stuff truck trap. You really need to be um, driving, you've, you've got to drive um, Globex at full tilt towards the um, tappy shop if you want to get the strike. Yeah, and it's also about trying to leverage your downhill momentum and accelerating at the right time. Um, Caleb looked like he went for the car, but just missed it. Luckily, uh, no harm done. And Tim's goes for fast stuff truck and gets it. Very well done. 
Yeah, beautiful Absolutely. textbook. If we just maybe, I think this might be the first time in the race that we could turn to maybe a prediction of who might win. I think the Tims might just win this. Yeah, definitely theirs to lose now. Um, we'll see how out of bounds goes to Caleb because that might be the deciding feature. Um, so Tims also has 180 coins after that mission, which is generally what I aim for. So I think that Tims should be fine with their coin now. Uh, Caleb also coming Caleb. up to Duck Truck. Have they got it? Oh yes, I think I've got it. Yeah, uh, Caleb luckily gets it. We'll see how Tims goes with skin on. He resets. Wow. Not yeah. confident that he could get the main strat there, obviously. Really unfortunate. It looked good for most of the way. So this brings it back. He's... Okay. No, he's missed it again. You know, I was about to say to, to Tim's. Bit of advice. Yeah, don't reset at this point. Um, it's just not worth it. You've just got to deal yeah. with it now. Uh, Skinner getting knocked over, which will lose Caleb a couple of seconds, which should be fine. I think Tim's was considering resetting, then Skinner had a lot of damage and decided uh, against it. He was, yeah, you saw him just pause for a fraction of a second. Caleb! Oh, he's missed FMJ as well, but might he be able to make it work? Might be able to get a better backup. Yeah, Tim's not happy. I cannot believe that Caleb has saved that. No wow. Problemo. Yeah, so I'm not sure. He just needed a bit of luck to go his way, and uh, that's where it has. Yeah. Not sure if Caleb knows um, what's happening in the race, but yeah, he probably really upset with that uh, FMJ, not knowing that he would have probably saved 30 seconds or maybe even more. Uh, so I'm just going to see if we can time the difference between them. Uh, De Tim's has gone past the ninth drop at 25 seconds. Uh, Caleb's gone past it at 45 seconds. So we want to say roughly a 20 second lead for De Tim's. Yeah, that was yeah, a big um, amount of time that Caleb has brought back there. Yeah, so yeah, it's interesting the kind of psyche that the runners are going into. Caleb would have, to, if he doesn't know or if Tim's doesn't know where Caleb's at, um, Caleb would have to assume that he's in a race, maybe th might think he's slightly ahead, slightly behind, not sure. Um, and Tim's probably playing carefree because he would assume Caleb's way ahead. So it might be another little advantage for Tim's. Yeah, no, the psychology of um, being a runner in a situation is very interesting. What, what are you doing in a race like this, Detox? Are you listening to the commentary at all or are you just in your own little world? Uh, I don't listen to the commentary. Uh, I The way I look at it is I try and do my best run and hope for the best. And yeah, I can't really control what the other player does. So, uh, Tim's interestingly not going for Bo Jump. Neither has Caleb, um, for that matter. Um, yeah, Caleb would definitely shock me. Um, might go for it in 6 7. Tim's good as well. Exercise. That is a good point, but yeah, the um, arguments come up a few times, and we've seen it in the tournament where runners have botched six seven, and boat jump has been part of that. There is a little bit, maybe it's that little bit slower to do it in six six, but in a situation like this where you wouldn't think Caleb wants to um, risk another big time loss, it is a strange decision. Yeah. Also, which I didn't account for earlier, both players missed, yeah, so their coins might not have been able to cope anyway. So they might have just both taken the safer option and just gone in the crusty loop. Uh, they're very close now. They are almost synchronised on screen. Yeah, so um, after that mission, Tim's had a 18-second uh, lead. I don't even think it's that much now. Um, I think given the fact that they're almost synchronised on screen... It probably is more down to about 14, 15 seconds. 
Okay, yeah, let's get to boat jump. That's good. Tim's didn't go for it. Yeah, definitely didn't go for it. So Tim's will make up a little bit of time here, but Caleb should make that time back up in seven Two cutscene skips almost all of Tim's has missed it. Oh, uh, that's, yeah, that's really disappointing. And now Caleb back in the lead. It was true, the lasers were only the beginning. Okay, so... Yeah, Caleb... Back in the lead here. As he starts 7-1. Oh, yeah, this, no this race really um, has had it all. Um, some extraordinary moments from both. Yeah, some big ups and downs. Uh, uh, yeah, I just... I'm shocked. I never thought I'd see an army purchase. Uh, Not from a sub 130 yeah. runner of all runners, my goodness. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to assume that maybe he dropped an input. I guess we can ask him in the interview. Yes, I do think that should be a question to ask. <laughs> Caleb's okay, so... coins are good. 504 coins. Uh, unoptimal 5 hour time loss. So it has we will should just need to finish the mission and I'll be fine. Yep. No issues there. Okay, and Tim's has four fifty now and after speaking to Mo and going back to Krusty Burger, his con should also be good. It's always um, super interesting to see um, when an out of bounds has something riding on it. Um, when We've seen this in races where it hasn't been close. It's been good to know that maybe the runner will get it or not, but I think the outcome of the race may well hinge on it. Yeah. Um, I also saw Caleb practicing 7-3 uh, last night and earlier today. And uh, was having a bit of trouble, so... Yes, yeah, so well, I saw home. that too. Um, he was uh, basically explaining how the way that you head in towards... Basically, the way you line up your car towards the cages can have a very big impact on how fast you can get through. Yeah, um, so Caleb's doing a 360 there. Some star points. Tim's also gets zombie car nine coins over, which will make some people very upset. Alien car no has. Oh, I thought it had gotten stuck, don't worry about that idea. Yeah, it did look like it hit the wall. Got out pretty quickly. Um, yeah, Caleb also a little bit close to Wee Wee, but looks like it fixed that up. And as long as Caleb gets to the barn, uh, shouldn't fail the mission. All right. So he's, told... he's heading into 7 3. Big moment coming up. Yeah, getting told that Tim's is 37 seconds. Okay, so we take, we're going to take a look at this out of bounds. Caleb taking it quite slow. Is he following his own advice and avoiding the cage? Not quite, because... Oh, no. Um, I... So, yeah, so what Caleb explained is he waits for the cage to go right, and then it will push the car left or left on the screen, and then it should hopefully be uh, in position. But it doesn't look like it's going well. He... Gets it in the end. It's slow, but it works. Yeah, I think Caleb would take that. Uh, assuming nothing goes wrong, this should still be quicker than doing it in. All right, so Tim's is indeed doing a inbounds 7 free, and with that, you have to assume that the rest of the run's also going to be inbounds. Caleb probably in the box seat again. Yeah, really the only thing that goes wrong is uh, either falling through the world or 7-6 not going well. 
Um, but again, I saw Caleb practicing 7-6 earlier and was having no issues. But as we've seen, um, you know, with Caleb choosing army, um, just the most basic things, sometimes they don't go your way. Yeah, um, with the pressure of a race, you never know what's going to happen. Yeah, of course, there's uh, the good old waist drop can definitely cause some issues. I had uh, four in one run already, so... Alright, so Caleb now moving on to the power plant. As teams finishes 7 3 off. Uh, Deciding to realign the car. Um, I think that park should be okay. Um, and Jaywashi, it is possible 100 FPS. It's actually easier FPS. Yeah, which is why I might be surprised that um, Tim's just not doing it, but of course, we strongly assume that he's not aware of the race situation, um, which is a bit of a shame. Um, yeah, and even if it, um, even if he was, uh, you don't want to do strats that you're not familiar with. Better to do what you know. Alright, okay, do we so have a spooky Greg, or a spooky Bob, or a witch broom? Or a hearse? Yeah, which room probably the least favorite option. Why not both? Parking works out. And we'll hope for good RNG and finish off 7 5. Spooky Harry. <laughs> Spooky Harry. Har Harry the Ursa. Eh? I was not aware that Harry the Hearst was a thing. There you go. I didn't know either, but the more you know. Alright, so Tim's now getting towards the end of 7-4. Caleb gets pretty good RNG. Gets into Harry the Hearst. Never gonna unhear that now. Tim's at a pretty good platforming section. Except for at the end. But no real time loss there. Caleb with 7 6. This is always an interesting one. Um, basically, the only hope for uh, to Tim's to win this now is to hope that this goes horribly wrong. Yeah, I mean, have to be hoping for a, a missed symmetry reset. Alright, let's see how the resets go for Caleb. Uh, I would be lying if I said that I understood a great deal about what's going on here. I just know that there's a series of very precise car resets. Detox so yeah, the first one. This in more detail. The first reset is by far the most precise. I look like Caleb's first one might have been a bit too early. The second time it worked out. And then you just drive forward. That reset's pretty simple. Reverse back for the third reset, which is simple. And he's now lined himself up for this last jump. Uh, looked a little more left than I would have liked, but works out. So Caleb will be happy with that. Now you reset here. And yeah, gets the waste. Um, assuming doesn't crash by the score, 7-6 looks like it's gone pretty smoothly for Caleb. Yeah, um, that looked really good. So yeah, unfortunately you had to get it second try. The first reset didn't work, but you know. Second try is still much quicker than doing it in bounds. Uh, I guess it would seem that Caleb's stream went back to about 2p for a moment there, but uh, it was just temporary. <laughs> it's gone back to full quality. Well, we're back. Alright, so now the players are one mission. Um, again, the assumption is that teams will do this in bounds, which means probably about 2 minutes 45 seconds to separate the two players. Yes, I would say uh, that the win is more or less secure for um, Caleb now. 
Yeah, so Caleb not making the mistake of not activating the alien car. Didn't push it. And now the only thing that can go wrong is a waste drop. Um, but yeah, you can see we have just the amount of time. Mimic cut saying this one can be yours, Detox. Uh, okay, I don't know the end one, so we'll hope for the best. I'll help you, um, yeah. I'll help you out if needed. Um, you can see that uh, Caleb's just saved so much time at Saab 77 by driving straight to the power plant, as opposed to Tim's having to drive inbounds. Oh, uh, the Tim's blew up the waste. That is awkward. Yeah, I, I actually don't even know what that blew up on. It looked like it blew up on the ramp, which... Yes. Must have been a one pixel. Of some yeah. Look at me, Looks like it almost happened again. And Caleb does the jump into the beam. Big GG. I'm expecting to see in chat, yeah, that he's not happy with the run. <laughs> Alright, final cutscene. Go, Detox. I smell toast. <laughs> Alright, final cutscene. Go Detox. I actually don't know this at all. <laughs> I smell toast. Basically, I don't know what he's... I just had the world's biggest sneeze, but only Detox would have heard it. Oh no, no one would have heard it because I muted it. That's good. Um, yeah. Something, something, something. Stop scratching yourself. Max the hand. Stop scratching yourself. Ah. <laughs> uh. And then, Dad, the town is so proud of you for defeating the aliens. Blah, blah, blah. And oh, then... that was real? I thought that was a dream. Just like the ninjas of the hot dog dream. No, you really... I have absolutely butchered this. You really did save the town. The ninjas of babysitters was a hot dog dream, though. Okay. Uh, and... Homer being told that his fans want him outside. Fans? What fans? And then, the outer space fans. Alright, so Tim's now onto the last mission. That's beautiful. Uh, we'll... Thank you, thank you. Yeah, never mention that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Caleb definitely... Didn't sound happy with his run. Tim's is was two and a half minutes behind PB out of seven six, so like, not a bad run. I think you'd take that in most twenty races. Yeah, the purchase of um, army for Caleb just inexplicable. Uh, we've got to understand why that's happened. Yeah, like. When you think about it, to get a 133 having to collect 500 extra coins is pretty unbelievable. They've done well, yeah, um, to yeah. bring that back. And there was a few moments where maybe it just looked like they were losing their composure a little bit, but, um, you know, they came out with the win, and that's all that matters. Yeah. Made, like we said, made some really good choices, got really good coins. Could have gone a lot slower ones if you just went, kept going around the group. Um, yeah, I think that definitely helps. Yeah, we can see um, the Tim's coming close to the end of their run now. Yeah, so we're hoping for a no waste drop and that Tim's gets a pretty good time. Something in the range of uh, 137. Maybe a high 136. I'm going to say 136.48. Oh, hitting the pole. A little bit scary. I, I don't think that pole blows up your waist. I hope not, because I hit that pole a lot. It doesn't, I suppose. It's more just a pole. Brings you on something else. Alright, so let's see if he gets a good jump into the beam. Looks pretty good. And gets a 
136.50. Well done to our second runner there. Yeah. Another pretty good time, uh, but Caleb is our winner by about three and a half minutes. Big JJs to both players. Um, so I guess if both players want to come into VC and do interviews. Hi. Hi. No one wants that, right? No, no one. Uh, so what did you think of your run? I got the win, I guess. But no, it was very bad. It was something. I guess, I think I pressed the button too early. So it didn't register the input, and then I just sort of sat there for a couple of seconds. So, yeah. yeah. I think I forgot to get Flanders. And I shouldn't have gone to train yard. Yeah. So yeah, so Heisen and I were both saying, and I think the chat agreed that you made good decisions and what coins you did decide to get. You could have gotten the faster poo coins, but then you're going to be under coin later on. So I think going back to Marge and Home One was probably a good decision. The only coin I was like didn't shouldn't have got was probably the slow chessboard walk, but that was kind of fast. Yeah, and your coins kind of needed at the time as well. But it was all downhill after that um, Smithers. I spent ages looking for a car. Yeah. <laughs> um, so also, Tim's, I'm not sure if you're going to join VC. Uh, Takeaway from this is uh, Out of Bounds OP. Yeah, it uh, probably... <laughs> Well, I probably would have still won without it, but um, it would have been much closer. It would have been a lot closer. Sure. Um, so Tim's advising he doesn't have a mic. Uh, we can do an interview and can reply in chat if you'd like. Um, and if not, we can just talk to Caleb, I guess. Um, so, yeah, also, yeah, Curator was also pretty interesting. Yeah, I went for fast creator, traffic car in the way. And then, oh, that's right, he hit the bin, so I thought he'd slow down. Mm. And he decided to go straight over it. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that whole poo was just, yeah, big shame in the end. Nothing really. I'm a truck was nice. I'm a truck was good, though. Yeah. That was another thing that went really wrong. Donut truck, that was pretty bad. Yeah, that wasn't a great one. And yeah. bad cuts. So, um, what, what would your main takeaway be for uh, the next race? What are you going to work on? Uh, Cutscenes. Yeah. <laughs> That's where it all went wrong. And then, obviously, just be a bit more careful on that American, probably. Yep. Yeah, practice I usually, that. Yeah. <laughs> But apart from the cutscene, I think I was only plus 40 out of Lisa. Yeah, so it wasn't um, your, that run, bad. your run looked like it was going pretty well. Until Donut Truck, I guess. Yeah. And even then, it was plus 122 out of Marge, so I'm perfectly fine with that for a race. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's still uh, definitely some time save um, that you know you've got. So, yeah, good stuff. Alright, GG's. Thank you everyone for watching. We might um, call this race here. Our next race is between Snrub and Dank underscore Mima 444. That is in 12 hours from now at 3pm British Summer Time. We shall see you all soon. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to our racers and thank you to Detops for the commentary. Thank you, Heisen. Okay, uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.